videos the other day and we're watching him make some scrambled eggs. He says to never stop whisking them pretty much and to kind of put butter at the beginning, the middle, and the end. So of course we use butter spray, not butter. But oh man, I probably burnt the, I burnt the eggs. You donkey. Here, okay. Right there. Okay. So for breakfast today I have three whole eggs scrambled. Ah oh, damn I forgot to put the I think you're supposed to put the salt and pepper when they're almost done. Or at the beginning, not when they're done. Comment down below, I don't know which one to do it. With what's the proper three whole eggs. We've got one green apple, and we got one Danafit Greek yogurt, vanilla flavor. So this is gonna be breakfast. Pretty light, very, very light, uh, because I'm about to go to the gym and do the workout. So we'll see you there. Oh, you know what? Let's just hop into the edit, bro. All right, we're gonna hop into the edit. And so I'm gonna put the workout right in between my hands. It's gonna magically appear right here. Okay, I want you guys, you ready? I want you to screenshot it in three, two, one. Got it? Now go give the thumbs up. She thumbs it up? All right, let's go to the set. So if you're watching this video, then on the next video at 10 a.m. Central on Sunday, we're dropping new joggers. I want to show them to you. Uh, we have four colors coming out, and I've actually been rocking these like the last two days. But they are a cotton, spandex, and polyester blend, and so they're a lot thicker versus the premium joggers. They're a lot thicker, uh, more of a cottony material. They still have stretch in them. They don't have a cuff. It's a nice, just like tapered ankle, and the logo is embroidered. We have two zippers on both sides, and they work. Like they're not gonna get jammed. Confirmed. Two pockets on the back and our strings. Very simple, there's no like crazy paneling or anything. There's a very staple, high quality jogger. And yeah, that's really it. Uh, they fit very true to size. They are tapered. So if you don't like your pants kind of like hugging the legs and stuff, you're not gonna like these. But I, this is like my preferred fit and everyone that's kind of tried them on, Joe, Nabil, uh, Daniel, they actually prefer these over the premium joggers, and these are actually 20% cheaper than the premiums. So, uh, they're actually dropping in women's color, or women's as well. The women's ones do have a cuff, these do not have a cuff, and that's it. So, they're limited edition. Go get them on Sunday if you want them. I'm gonna go shoot the product photos to the website, and then we're gonna go do a cardio talk later this video. What's up, dude? What's up, dude? Nabil made some sick Lightroom presets. So for all my people editing photos out there um, on Lightroom specifically, he made presets for them. You take a photo, you put a preset on, and it gives you like a really nice base to start working with. Go check them out in the description box. I'm about to show you guys what I got for dinner. This is like early dinner. I'll probably eat, I definitely will eat later on, but I've got eight ounces of the lemon pepper chicken. I just finished off the three packs that I grilled the other day, so I need to make some more, go get some more. One packet of rice with garlic, pepper, and salt. Uh, one serving of fat-free cheese. You probably can't see it in here, but it's there. Oh yeah, there, there you go. Look at that cheese. And some paste picante sauce. I got some blueberries on the side. I'll probably have this whole package. These are like jumbo. Look how big these are. I feel like it's a very big blueberry, but they're delicious. And this is going to be my 
lunch. I'm also out of spinach. I'm so proud of myself because I actually had the whole, the big box. I had that within like four days, which is like a record for me. So very proud of myself. Um, but I need to go stock up on some things at the grocery store, probably tomorrow. Yeah. After finishing that meal, I was still very hungry. So I made myself a yogurt with almost one serving of this uh, oats and honey cluster granola and toasty coconut, very nice accent, I must say. But just when I was having that meal, Heidi came up and started like kind of hugging me and uh, kissing me on the cheek and stuff while I was eating. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. I, just side note, this is like a fun fact, I hate being touched in any sort of way while eating, especially like when I'm hungry. If I'm in a restaurant or if I'm like eating a meal, I just don't like it. I'm like, you know? Are you guys like that? Or do you mind like if you're at dinner and your girlfriend's like touching your like your your leg or something, or like scratching your back. Can you still eat normally, or do you get really annoyed? I get really annoyed. Anyway, okay, Ava's about to fall asleep sitting like this. Watch. She's sitting like this. She's about to fall asleep. Watch. Mad at me, she won't even look at me now. Heidi, look, you brat. Let me kiss Heidi's like the low maintenance girlfriend, and I was like the high maintenance girlfriend that I have every single day at every single moment. Watch, let me kiss her. The heck. <laughs> no. What? Oh my gosh, you brat. <laughs> kisses, kisses. She really likes women for some reason. <laughs> she likes girls. Kiss. <laughs> Kiss. No, oh, I forgive you. <laughs> <gasps> Drink a lot of liquids today. You <laughs> sound like a gallon jug. What's going on, guys? Welcome to the Cardio Talk. I spent a lot of time today kind of narrowing down all the information that I wanted you guys to know, and I got it all down to one sheet of paper, like one little sheet of paper. So I think I've done a good job at sort of narrowing everything down. So just pay attention to this video, uh, take some notes on your phone, sit back, relax, and we're just gonna jump into it. So this is gonna be the end of the video. So if you don't care, we'll see you in the next video, but I promise you if you watch this and pay attention, you're gonna learn something kind of useful. So uh, I wrote down a few common questions. Each one has a different color because I'm a very visual person. I get bored really easy. So number one, do you have to do cardio to lose weight or to lose body fat? Do you have to do it? No, you don't have to do it. Cardio is simply a tool. And what's most important in this entire like weight loss, body fat loss journey, your training and your, your eating is number one, always. Really, I would say eating, training, and then cardio is like down here. It's a tool that you can use to help create a caloric deficit. Now, I kind of, all the orange here, let's move down to this orange. We're gonna use, we're gonna use Nabil, okay? Nabil is recording this. This is Nabil's calories, okay? He needs 2,500 calories a day to maintain his weight. If Nabil wants to lose weight, he'd take in maybe somewhere around 2,000. If he wants to gain weight over time, take in maybe about 3,000, right? So 2,500 2, calories is what his body expends. He works out five days a week, he does his job, he films sick videos, he goes to sleep, he, whatever his daily tasks are, that is his total expenditure. And cardio is simply a tool to help this area, okay? To create this, this is a caloric deficit right here. So whatever he eats, cardio can help accent that and help add to it. And that's what I want you guys to think of it. It's not, if you wanted to have instead of 2,000, maybe he wanted to have 2,300 calories a day and do 300 calories of cardio to equal 2,000 and create that deficit. It's, 
it, it's not by means like a, it's not the answer. It's simply something that you use to help create a caloric deficit, which kind of leads me to my second point or second question. Actually, let's skip to the third. Will I lose muscle and what's like too much cardio? So I just talked about making this deficit. And if you do it right, there's no way to avoid, if you're gonna lose 30 pounds, like I'm gonna go from 190 pounds down to 168, 169. Am I gonna lose a little bit of muscle throughout that duration? Probably a little bit, but the best way to minimize that muscle loss is going to be to create, avoid creating a massive deficit. So let's say Nabil needs 2,500, he's eating 2,000 and then he's doing 500 calories a day of cardio. So he's creating not only a 500 calorie deficit, but another 500 calories to equal a thousand deficit. If he does that over time, he's gonna start losing muscle. He's gonna feel extremely weak, be very, very stringy and weak. And that's what you wanna avoid. You wanna avoid any drastic, drastic deficits. You will lose muscle, but you won't lose a lot of muscle if you keep the deficit kind of smaller, uh, use cardio as a tool, and you don't overdo it. And what's too much, I would just say, there's no set number of what's like too, too much, but I really wouldn't recommend creating a massive deficit, uh, whether you do it like with doing ex excessive amounts of cardio or eating very little, um, just avoid doing that because you're not gonna like the results. That's how you get like that really just, not the look that we want. We wanna maintain muscle mass, we wanna be full, we wanna be strong, we wanna hold on to our strength. And the more strength you hold on to, the more muscle you hold on to, the better you're gonna look when you're all dieted down and shredded for the pool parties. All right, so question number two, when should you do your cardio? And this is a very common question. A lot of people swear, you know, you have to do cardio first thing in the morning, fasted to get results. You have to do cardio right after your workout. You have to do cardio at night. You have to do it before your workout. There's so many options when to do it. And my overall answer is very simple. It's all preference. Whatever fits your daily life, whatever fits your lifestyle and your preference, that is what I recommend you guys doing. But except I wouldn't do it right before your workout because you're gonna take away energy uh, that you could use for your training. So again, training and nutrition's up here, cardio is right here. So you wanna give your primary focus always your training and nutrition. Um, so I wouldn't do it before your workout, but a lot of people like to wake up and go do their either high intensity or low intensity workouts, which is totally fine. Like if that makes you feel good, if that's what you enjoy, if that's what when you perform cardio and you like getting that routine and you feel like endorphins in the morning, you feel great, then do it. Do it in the morning. For me, I personally like to do my cardio either after workout or right before bed. Um, and that's just preference. I don't like waking up and going to do cardio and having a shower. I'd rather do it later in the day and feel like, all right, it's the last thing I gotta do. Honestly, I mainly do it at night. Last thing I gotta do, knock it off my list. Now I can freaking go to bed because I'm tired from all the Stairmaster. Uh, that's kind of what I prefer. But there's no proven benefit to doing faster cardio in the morning versus doing it after workout or at night. Everything comes down to this. It all comes down to calorie intake versus calorie outtake or expenditure. If you're, it doesn't matter what time you're doing it, but this over a 24 hour period, how much food you're taking in, what your deficit, the, the deficit you're creating is what's gonna matter. This is the priority, not what time you're doing your cardio. Uh, last question I wanna answer is what type of cardio is best? And to answer that, we need to discuss two types of cardio, LIS and HIT. we're gonna go over them right now. The first cardio we're gonna talk about is low intensity steady state or LIS, as it's commonly referred to. What you need to know, First, we have to find our fat burning zone. Where do we want to keep our heart rate throughout this entire duration? What I want you guys to do is take the number 220, subtract your age. So for me, I'm 25 years old. So I'm gonna subtract 220 from 25, gives me 195. I'm gonna multiply 195 times 0.65 to 0.70. That's gonna give me my heart rate range that I want to stay in. So from 125 to 135 is sort of that fat burning zone that I want to stay in. Uh, again, this is super broad. You can go way more into depth than this, but this is sort of the most simplified version uh, that I want to give to you guys. So essentially what we're doing here, this is our heart rate, this little line. We're bringing it up and we're gonna maintain it for anywhere between 30 and 45 minutes. I really don't push 45 minutes uh, until later on during prep. I Pretty standard for me is gonna be a 30 minute session a few times a week, but you could go up to 45 if you want to. Um, a few examples of this would be an incline treadmill. I really enjoy putting the incline at a number 10 and then bring the speed up to like a three and a half to a four, kind of depending, whatever gets my heart rate at that zone right here. Uh, you could do a steady Stairmaster, which I always do. I have a Stairmaster downstairs in the garage. That's actually my go-to. Uh, you can do an elliptical, a bike. You can go for a nice jog outside. Anything that brings your heart rate up and allows you to maintain it, really. So you have a lot of options here for low intensity, but the 
kind of takeaway points and some kind of criticism that people get with low intensity. A lot of people get bored doing it because it is a longer duration. A lot of people get bored. They don't have the attention span for it. They don't feel challenged. A pro, like a good thing about it, it's not too taxing on your body. And so I actually find that I can do more low intensity sessions throughout the week than I can high intensity because I'm training six days a week. Push, pull, leg, push, pull, leg. My body's already taxed. And so for me, this is not that taxing. It's easy for me to kind of get in and burn the calories. Uh, and number three, a lot of people, depending on their personality, may find it peaceful or enjoyable to actually kind of have this time. Uh, maybe if you want to catch up on YouTube videos, if you want to watch one of these videos uh, during that session, it's something that you can, you don't have to be going all out, balls to the wall um, to be able to get it done. Now, that's kind of like the pros and cons of lists and everything you need to know. Now I'm gonna show you guys HIT. All right, so the second and final type of cardio we're gonna talk about is gonna be HIT or high intensity interval training. This is essentially short bursts of energy. So you're going all out for a short period of time and you're following that with a, a period of low intensity work. So duration, give or take 20 minutes. Uh, so it is shorter than the low intensity steady state sessions. And I wrote down a few different examples for you guys to try out um, if you want. So five minute jog, I had that on all three examples. You need a little warm up period. Then you're gonna go into a 20 second all out balls to the wall sprint. Give everything you got, your whole body should be like be working, you're aching afterwards, right? So 20 seconds of a sprint, and you're gonna follow that with maybe 40 to 60 seconds, depending on your conditioning level, of not a walk or like a rest period, but you're gonna continue jogging. So you get your heart rate up, right? Five minutes, and you spike it up, it starts coming down, but you're still like, still jogging, so it's not gonna come down like here, and then you spike up again, spike up again, and you repeat that for anywhere from, I put seven to 10, but it really depends on your conditioning. Uh, maybe six to 10, maybe even push 11 or 12 rounds, depending on how you're kind of doing it. And then you're gonna final or fin finish with a cool off or cool down period. Uh, another example would be a five minute jog, and then you're gonna go 20 seconds on the battle ropes. You know, you know the, the ropes that we do, you're slamming and you're slamming, you're doing as fast as you can, giving everything you've got, or you can even grab the, the medicine balls, really heavy ones, and you're gonna slam. Anything that requires explosive bursts of energy, but you do wanna to stick to movements that require a full body, um, like a sprint or like a battle rope, like, like a, a big medicine ball slam, some, running up a hill, something like that. Uh, and then again, follow it with 40, seconds, 40 to 60 seconds of a cool off, uh, maybe a jog or whatever you're doing to kind of keep that heart rate up and repeat that and then cool off. The last example I gave was an elliptical. Uh, I said the same concept, the elliptical warm up and go all out and kind of not rest, but go back to that lower intensity for a few seconds, for 46 seconds. And I gave that example because it's a lot less uh, hard on your joints than like a sprint or anything like that, running up hills. And so if you have bad joints, uh, you can still do your hit without like beating up your body pretty much. And a few main, <laughs> yeah, I'm so chill right now, it's like the end of the day, I've been working on this forever. But a few of the main points at the very end, you're gonna spend less time doing this than you would a list session. Uh, for a lot of people, this is super high energy. You have your endorphins, you feel more, you feel like you're doing more, you feel super positive, you're like, wow, this is freaking hard, I'm taking this over, I'm challenging myself, and you feel really accomplished after. And if you feel that, if you really enjoy that, then go for this by all means. This might be the type of cardio for you. Some negatives, it's, it is more taxing on the body than lists, and so this could potentially hurt your weight training, and like I said, Weight training, nutrition is number one, cardio is just a tool. So I would never want you guys to do so much of this where you're affecting your weight training. Uh, and if you're not recovered properly, uh, there is a higher risk of injury. If, of course, if you're sprinting and you're not a sprinter, if you're running up the hill, if you're doing anything crazy, that requires a lot. Of, if you're not an athlete, then you do have a higher risk of getting injured as opposed to like a Stairmaster or an incline walk. Um, but that's really it. And my whole point of this is at the end of the day, it comes down to preference. I don't care if you do lists, I don't care if you do hit. I personally, do probably like 80% list, 20% hit, just because I really enjoy my time on my Stairmaster where I can set my, my phone up and just like catch up on some YouTube videos, watch some of my friends' videos, and it makes the time go by really quick. You can download some Netflix, and of course you're not like on your phone texting and stuff because you are going at a rate to get your heart rate up, and you should be challenged with the low intensity session, but putting your phone there, having headphones, and kind of like paying attention to a video really helps me um, sort of find peace and relax a little bit. Uh, high intensity, I don't really do much high intensity like leading up to a show, but I may like right now, the, like when I'm 12 weeks, 11 weeks, 10 weeks out from really getting to that point I wanna get at, uh, incorporate some, even eight weeks out, seven weeks out, things like that. Um, but again, me personally, I lean towards a little bit more lists, but that's just my personality. Maybe you guys wanna try this out. So if you do, then I highly recommend it. Whatever you do, don't do too much cardio at like just don't start with too much. Maybe start with one list, one list and one hit for the week. And next week, maybe we can add 
you know, two lists in one hit, maybe two and two. I really wouldn't recommend pushing too much more than maybe four sessions a week. Um, it's very different for everybody, but I would start with just maybe one of each uh, or just one. Really depend. There's so many factors that go into it, but don't overdo it. It's better to add it in later on as a tool uh, than to just like go all out too quick. If that makes sense. Uh, I think that's really everything I wanted to cover. If you guys have any questions, comment down below and I'll be able to com or comment and answer. And uh, yeah, that's really it. So thank you all so much for watching. If you're still with me, I appreciate you. Hope you learned something and we'll see you in the next one. I know what you said goodbye to the video, but Heidi and I just went to Whole Foods, which is 100% extremely overpriced and not worth it in my opinion, but it's, worth it. it's okay. Let's look at this little, okay. How much do you think this flower, look, look how big this is. It's not even that big, okay. $39.99 for these flowers. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna show you guys what I got because it's summer shredding. I don't care about video length right now. I just wanna get content for you guys. So we picked up uh, some watermelon that she's eating. We got these $10 strawberries. We got pineapple chunks that ran out. Uh, I picked up more spinach because I ate the whole box already. So this is spinach I'm about to use. I got some asparagus, but I like how they already cut the bottoms off. So this is just like the good part. Super nice. I got, I got these chopped onions, which I'm gonna use right now to cook some dinner. Cucumbers, coconut, water, coconut milk, tidies, some morning O's, and grapefruits and ginger ale because her stomach hurts, so this is what she drinks when her stomach hurts. But that's about it. I'm actually gonna show you guys what I cook for dinner because I feel like it'll be pretty unique. I'll just show you the finished the finish product, so here we go. Okay, so for my final meal of the day, I have three ounces of turkey, two servings of white rice, basmati, one whole egg, three egg whites, a big handful of spinach I sauteed, and I think that's it, onion, some diced up onion. So that's gonna be my dinner. That finishes off my protein for the day. I still need some carbs and a little bit of fat later on tonight, but I'm gonna save that, and that's it. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.